Gaffer, what do you make of that? <laughs> well, it was 80 minutes where we didn't get our game right and we were second best. Uh, little bits and pieces went okay for us, but overall um, they were 2-0 up, you know, deservedly. But uh, as Asa just said there, you know, the boys show the spirit. We, we do a lot of work on uh, making sure that we show an intent to score a goal. We hadn't done that for 80, but we certainly did it in the last 10. Um, and the boys came up trumps because they're brave kids and they uh, and once we got the first one, we knew that you know there was a little bit of time, should have been more even, um, but there was a little bit of time to, to get the last goal back if we could get the ball up into their penalty area, which was a little bit draconian, is that the word? Or draconian, draconian, isn't it? Um, as far as you know, just lumping the ball in the box. But we had to get the ball in the box 10 times to give us the chance of scoring one or two goals late on. And, uh, and that's what we did and credit to us, you know, we got on to the first and we got on to the second and it wasn't exactly an overhead kick by Wince, I don't think, it was sort of like a fall over <laughs> and rolled in. But um, it is a great point for us from where we were after 80 minutes and it's certainly a better point for us than it is for them. Um, you know, we've come up against a good team here today. Um, you could see that they put in a lot of energy in the first hour or so because they started fading a little bit in the last sort of 10, 20, 20 minutes um, and we was, you know, going for it and at that point that's when you've got to show your intent and we, and we did that. Gaffer, this might sound like a daft thing to say but obviously well, recently the team's... <laughs> <I'm making laughs> <clear of> <laughs> but recently the performances and the matches and the results have been going hand in hand as, as, as we built up this great winning run. Does that almost give you as much pleasure in a, a day that maybe things haven't gone to plan, but you've actually come away with a quality result at the end of it? Absolutely, that, yeah, exactly. That that happens to all the top teams, doesn't it? You know, there's, your top teams in the Premiership are dropping points every now and again. Sometimes they're points that you know against lower teams, but this today was was um, you know we, we we got back a point and took away two points from them from a team that are desperate to get promotion have been de desperate for a long time and they got a lot of experience in their team. I think the first, as I say, the first part of the game, we look, our inexperience showed a little bit. Um, but anyway, we had to, you know, uh, we had a word at half time and felt that we had to come out with a lot more intent. And uh, and we certainly did that and we, and we put them back and they just had a couple of breaks where we had numbers going forward. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, if you're going to win the league, you're going to have games like that. Sutton are going to be disappointed. Hartlepool, Notts County, even other teams that are trying to creep up on us are going to be disappointed that uh, that happened. And uh, the equaliser, which probably makes it even more dramatic, came just a few moments after we lost Josh Umar in what was, should we say, a controversial sending off? What was your uh, take on it? Listen, uh, I'm not going to bring the club, uh, the club into disrepute, so I'm not going to. Um, you know, give a, an opinion, if you like, because I'd end up saying, t saying too much. So, uh, you know, Josh came on. Um, we needed to have a little bit of oomph up front. Uh, we wasn't really challenging their centre-halves enough. Uh, they were having quite an easy game. But, um, you know, Josh came on and uh, really let them know that it wasn't going to be as easy as the first uh, hour or so was. Um, he gave us a free kick, didn't he? I'm going to now get in it. No, I'm not. He gave us a... Uh, Josh made the challenge. He then played on. He then gave a free kick against Josh. And then decided to go back and give Josh a yellow card. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So yeah, that was... I don't think they quite knew uh, what they were doing at that point. But still, I've said too much already. <laughs> um, they're out there and sometimes you have to deal with decisions that go for you or go against you. But uh, it was certainly the start of um, of a bit of passion out there. And, and as I say, that intent to keep the ball up that end and not let the centre-halves have the amount of strong headers that, and, that they were that they were getting. And of course, Gaffer, now there's no uh, rest, is there? We move on to Tuesday, another game here at Playmore. Yeah. Uh, that is one thing probably to take from it, there's not any travelling involved against all shot on Tuesday. Yeah, no, that's that's good because I felt that uh, certainly early on, Notts County looked like they had the 
the legs of a week off. I had to play the same team. I didn't have to, but I did. Uh, and knowing that I could make a, you know, a few changes if I needed to, um, I thought we looked a bit leggy. We wasn't playing sharp like they were. And you know, them extra days do help. Now, I presume, I think all the shot played today, so it's all level as far as legs are concerned. Um, so we see how, it, how, that, how that goes. And also, Eastleigh would have played the same, uh, same games. Um, we'll have to, you know, just, we've got, we've, we've got to keep going. We've got to keep going. And we, our mental state has got to tell us that we're fit and we're strong. And the fact that we have got a bit of youth means that your legs can be stronger than some of the opposition's legs because you're only young. <laughs> you haven't had a whole career and a 35 sort of thing. You know, that's most of our lads. So that's, uh, that's how I see it. Well, Gaffer, thanks for joining us once again and congratulations on what might turn out to be a very vital point. Yeah, thanks very much. I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. I say sorry to the supporters for the first, you know, 60, 70 minutes because they would have been slaughtering everybody else, you think, as I was in my head. But, um, you know, your boys, your boys did good in the end and they showed that uh, we're up for it and that uh, we're going to be, hopefully we're going to be in there at the death. Cheers, Gaffer. Cheers.